I'll bet you these cannons are gonna be cannony. Man, Boy. there's uh, a little bit of a letdown right there. Mm -hmm. So there's Michael you're... Bay when you need him. <laughs> Man, I thought the whole password thing was like the Dun thing. Dunzo? Yeah. Well, you just killed the, you know, the boss. My God. Well, good luck avoiding that. Well, now I need to one shot it just to prove you wrong. That was my plan the whole time! Oh, wait. Oh, I wanted to kill this guy, that's why I went up there. I figured. I figured! Bok, bok. What's he gonna do? He doesn't even know. <laughs> He's like, I don't know. Diamond saw, I guess? Uh, he threw it right at him. It hit him right in the face. Good. Good. <laughs> I'm glad that I could do that. You just wanted to, you know, have a repeat performance. You wanted an encore. You said, can I get an encore? Do you want more? Or you just... Just yellow it. Hmm? That works too. Fire on your face, Mises. <laughs> Fart on your face, Mises. Because you suck and I hate your face. There you go. Oh. I mean, I feel like Miles Thunder will clear that right up. No, not Psychopath. Not Psychopath. Miles <laughs> brings the thunder. Oh, I missed it because too I was too busy bringing the thunder. Okay, just bring the thunder. So, important question. Mm -hmm. After the travesty that was... Uh, Mario, Mario, I, Mario and Batman, Superman and Batman. Yeah. And the even more travesty, super terrible, mega garbage Justice League. I didn't see that one. It was dumb. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Cause oh. I have like no coins to wager. Oh. What's your guess? Like your gut? Middle. Middle? Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> you got me six whole coins for that. Oh. Uh, but anyway. I thought it was something more consequential. No. But I'm still pretty excited about that. Um. How do I get up there? Uh, get good? I don't think get good is the actual answer. I mean, get good is always the answer. You just ran right into him, so. I don't know who you're hunting right there. The. This thing. I'm hammering the thing. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna shock her, this dude. Nice. Yeah. I think that was the most mal uh, damage Mal ever did. Oh, I'm sure. So anyway, you were saying after the tragedy of... Uh... Oh yeah. So, after that, and kind of in betwixt that, mm -hmm. although honestly I feel like um, they 
they kind of released it. I don't know. Whatever I'm trying to say, but basically, do you think that DC has finally figured out what to do at this I point? I think that... Oh. You are not you. You are me. No spirit. Um, I think that they are starting to understand that pretty much all they can really do at this point, in this juncture, because Marvel has, like, the, you know, like, the, the Super Bowl of the century going on next month with uh, Endgame. Right. So, I think they realize that they can't do that right now. They just have to make fun movies with, you know, mm -hmm. good messages, like... Just kind of give the, like I've said many times, they're giving the characters their own thing. Yeah. Like, they, it, I think it was a crime what they did with Batman. I think that Ben Affleck could have had a really good standalone Batman movie, but that's not going to happen. So, cause yeah. He's, a, he's in rehab or something. Because he didn't want to go to rehab, but then somebody said, yeah. Yeah. His mama said, you gotta go to rehab. Mm hmm. Um, because Wonder Woman had her own really good standalone mm -hmm. movie, from what you're telling me, Aquaman did too. Yeah, the Aquaman movie was a lot of fun. I feel like maybe if they do Flash, it. Oh, there you go. No, like, because the Flash is terrible, terrible actor. Was Aquaman good in Justice League? Uh, I don't know. I didn't watch it all. Was he good in the parts that you saw him in Justice League? I mean, he was pretty much Aquaman, so yeah. Okay. Fine. Oh, farts. But the Flash wasn't the Flash in Justice League. The Flash was really stupid in Justice League. Because they picked the dude who was... Oh, I was going to say, he was the character in um, Crime to Grindelwald and the other one. But you didn't watch that. No, not yet. Because the biggest Harry Potter fan in the entire family has not watched, basically, adult Harry Potter. But... I'm busy. No. Unacceptable. <laughs> Unacceptable. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. I just, I don't know how that's a look, possible look. answer. I'll watch it tomorrow. Well, not Crimes of Grindelwald, because, you know, it's yeah. not out yet. Watch the first one tomorrow. Yeah. Fantastic Beasts. Fantastic Beats and where to drop them. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've heard that before. <laughs> But it was just brought back to my memory. <laughs> it's still hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely uh, enjoy that joke. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll watch it tomorrow. Sure. Left. This left. Mm hmm. Farts! <laughs> I tried to go for your system. <laughs> If I say it right away, I'll tell you, if I say it right away, then I'm like 90% sure. If it takes me a second, then go to the right. Alright. All right. Oh, man, I don't have enough for poison gas. Well, no, uh, yeah. What? I hope you have enough for thunder. Bring the thunder, Cage. Cage. You know what part... Of that movie that I was thinking about recently, of uh, Tenacious D and the Pick of Destiny. Hmm. Do you remember the part where he's uh, he's trying to break into the museum or whatever, and he's doing the Storm the Gates song? Yeah, that's great. The, the two air vents on the roof. That's what the guy was talking. About. And then he, you know. Mhm. Mm I remember it. Yeah, that that movie's great. Uh, very underrated. It is fun. Guys, you don't have to. You don't have to victory peace sign every time. <laughs> our uh, our buddy Justin item. sent sent me a, a link to a concert that's going on. That was uh, it was it was Foo Fighters, somebody else, and Tenacious D. Uh huh. And he was like, "These guys are gonna be near us. We should go see it." And I was like, "Yeah, totally." Mostly because I want to see Tenacious D. And then he uh -huh. was like, "Oh, J.K. It's in Chicago." And I was like. Yeah, well, apparently, from what I saw at that concert, like, they're quote-unquote touring together, but they're mostly not playing at the same time. Like, 
Like one night, one show is Tenacious D and one show right. is Foo Fighters. Exactly. That's stupid. Man. I think one of my dream shows would be because they're like in the same like group, the, the same brigade would be uh, Foo Fighters, Queens of the Stone Age, and Tenacious D. Mm. I mean, I'd see Tenacious D. I'd see Tenacious D and Queens of the Stone Age. I definitely wouldn't go for Foo Fighters, but I'd enjoy their their bigger hits. Oh, I guess I can't go in there. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't want to fight these things anymore. Well, we were talking, complaining about how, you know, game's getting hard, so. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I just don't want to fight them anymore. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> I mean, the combo of Poison Gas and uh, Thunderbolt has pretty much been wrecking, wrecking the room, but... And then these guys are. I think you're just upset here. because Mario is a little bit less useful than uh, the other two in the section. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Mal's been, been. Mal's been wrecking it. Yeah, he's been doing a good job. I just still think it's hilarious that one of his weapons is throwing, throwing Mario. Mario at people. Yeah. <laughs> and Mario's totally cool with it. Yeah. He's like, it's fine. It's a fine, I'm Mario. Okay. This is XP points. All right, these are important. Left. Nice, good job. Told you. All right, now we're gonna go for some ultra Ooh. jump. I think we're gonna throw a little. Hmm. I feel like Bowser needs... His poison gas is very... It has potential. Yeah, but so. I don't want to... I feel like this game is not requiring you to, like, think outside the box in terms of builds. It's just like... You say that, but I bet there's a very large Mario RPG community that yeah, has builds I'm set sure. up. But I know what you're saying for the purposes of our this playthrough. playthrough. I mean, I'd just give him some power then. Yeah, powder didn't give me much. It's also this part that's just uh, very magic heavy. Hmm. It's a, it looks like a, a trap save. in this game do a butt ton of damage. Why are Mimics always like the, the biggest jerks of any RPG? I don't get that. I don't know. Oh, apparently he's immune to, to magic too. <sighs> and you figure that out like I bet he's a lot right of XP though. I would cage bring the thunder on those little things. Yeah. Oh, I plan on doing that for sure. Okay. Hey, Willie. Man, that is a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Yeah, that is pretty good to get in the max mushroom. Ow, farts. Oh, double farts. How many times did you get, buddy? Man, he does not like Mallow. Mm -hmm. Wow. <sighs> you 
have pick-me-ups. Yeah. Oh, well he's Got dead. Him. Got him, family. Got him, family. Hundred coins. And safety badge. And safety patch. Do the safety badge. Do, 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 do. What does Elixir do? Uh, full health, I believe. Oh. oh, 80. Oh, party recovers 80. Probably would have saved that for... Yep, that was good. That's what we wanted. <laughs> Wake up! Oh, it's just better. Prevents mutant poison. Who's it more beneficial for? Not him. Not him. I think I'm gonna go Mario on this one. We'll see what the wake up pin does for Bowser. Maybe. Just out of curiosity. Yeah. I think you're, uh, you're good. Just I don't want to feed that jerk in the future. You don't want to fight that guy in the future. I don't want to fight him in the future. Speaking of the future, it's time to take five. five. Taking five, guys. Burgers and fries. <laughs> <laughs>